Hey guys, KP Jacks here. Today we're going to make an overhead camera rig. You're going to need about 20 feet of PVC. The legs are going to be 18 inches. The rails are going to be 36 inches. You're going to need four elbows, two um, 8 to 12 um, side outlet elbows, and uh, 8 to 12 T's. I'm using half inch PVC, but you could obviously use an inch or three quarters or any size that fits your need. Your prep time is probably going to be 30 to 60 minutes, and it's probably going to take you about 10, 15 minutes to put it all together. So the first thing you're going to do is take two T's and you're going to put a piece of six inch PVC between it. Then on the other side of those T's, you're going to put a four inch piece of PVC on each side. And what you're doing here is building the rails for your 36 inch slide posts. And then at the T's, what you're going to do is you're going to connect those 36 inch uh, long slide posts and you're going to put elbows on the ends and you're going to take your 18 inch pieces and connect them as legs. Make sure you push them in nice and tight. You don't want the legs to fall off when you're trying to adjust them to uh, set up your camera angle when you want to shoot video. Now that you have all the legs connected, what we're going to do next is we're going to build a box. This box is going to allow us to hook our camera to the slider and move it back and forth. In order to build the box, you are going to need two sets of four inch PVC and two sets of three and a half inch PVC or three inch PVC. It really depends on what you want to build. You're going to need four T's and four side T's. And then you're going to need uh, one and a quarter inch pieces of PVC um, to act as uh, gap pillars or connectors. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a T on uh, opposite sides of each other Put a piece of four inch PVC in each T um, and then uh, on the, across you're going to take the PVC, uh, the three inches and you're going to repeat the process. And then you're going to take each of those ends and you're going to put them into the side out T's. Basically you're building a square or a rectangle and then you're going to take the top of the side out T's and you're going to insert those one and a quarter inch PVC pieces to connect to the other side of the box. Now the original video I saw just had you duplicate this sequence twice so the top and bottom box were the same. Um, I don't need that many mounting points for my camera. I figure if I do I'll just take the box out and flip it over and it would get the correct uh, angle. So what I did is instead of doing all the short pieces I simply cut um, single pieces you know that were like eight and a half or nine inches long and I connected them to the side out tees. And then what I did is I was able to simply roll that over and that became the tops and bottoms of the box uh, where I'm gonna mount my camera. Now to put these together, you're gonna, you're, you may have to trim some pieces down, uh, um, but basically you're gonna take the side out tees, which are the corners, and since you have that inch and a quarter piece of PVC in it, you can basically press them all down on top of each other and create yourself a box like you see in the picture. And what we're gonna do with this box is it's just wide enough to go over the 36 inch slider bars that we made earlier that are part of the frame. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the box uh, on the end of the frame, you're gonna pull off the end of the frame, you know, the left or right side, and you're gonna take the box and slide it over the two 36 inch rails. It may fit one way or may fit both ways. Either way, it's a square. Uh, or a rectangle depending on your you know the cut of your parts now we're going to attach your camera so what I was able to do here was take a piece of half inch PVC with a adapter for the PVC and then a cap for the PVC I drilled a 3 16 hole in it and put a quarter 20 inch or a quarter 20 uh, inch and a half bolt through it and that's the same size as uh, most of your camera adapters. And you can see it uh, moves pretty fluidly. Uh, obviously it takes a little bit, you're gonna have to tweak it a little bit and you know maybe, maybe cut some PVC to make sure that it's exactly right. But this frees up your hands. Uh, also gets that angle in case you need to do anything specific down on it. You can also put the unit horizontally because it does have legs to help keep it stable. So you can push those out and help stabilize the uh, the camera and keep your hands off of it as well. Um, and then you can just move the video camera, you know, slide it off to the left or the right, and it gives you that 
flyby kind of look. Um, maybe get you a different angle as far as what it goes. And wouldn't you notice somebody decided to uh, text me right in the middle of making a video. So it's always something whenever whenever you're trying to get things done. I made this because I found myself needing my hands to be free. So this definitely allows me to do that. Um, and not mess up a camera angle once you get it set. And also I don't have hundreds and hundreds of dollars to buy professional sliders that I can set up for time lapses or different angles and stuff like that. As always guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share. Have a great night.